Welcome to Matrix Hub Updates. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Tonight, breaking news from Wyoming's Grand Teton National Park. A massive fissure has split open the earth, stunning scientists and the public alike. The crack, stretching for miles, appeared almost overnight, transforming a symbol of American wilderness into the epicenter of a geological mystery. Hikers and rangers first reported the scene, a deep, jagged wound in the landscape, both awe-inspiring and alarming. Scientists from across the country have rushed to the site, racing to understand what triggered this dramatic rupture. The event is a stark reminder of the immense, unpredictable power simmering beneath our feet. Grand Teton, long seen as a place of peace and permanence, now challenges our sense of security. The ground we walk on, the mountains we admire, none are as unchanging as they seem. This fissure forces us to reconsider our relationship with the natural world and its volatility. Tonight, we'll hear from scientists and officials on the ground, exploring the causes and implications of this extraordinary event. From immediate safety concerns to the long-term impact on the park's ecosystem, we'll cover every angle. This is not just a local story, it's a global headline about the raw, untamable power of our planet. The world is watching, trying to decipher the message the Earth has sent from the Grand Tetons. What does this mean for the future of the park and for us? Stay with us as we uncover the details behind this unprecedented geological event. The Earth has spoken and we're listening. Before the fissure, Grand Teton National Park was the picture of tranquility. Jagged peaks rising from the Jackson Hole Valley reflected in the still waters of Jenny Lake. Visitors came for peace, hiking through forests and meadows, surrounded by the quiet grandeur of ancient mountains. The park's atmosphere was one of timeless stability, shaped by glaciers and uplift over millions of years. Each season brought its own beauty lush summers, golden autumns, and silent snow-blanketed winters. The landscape felt eternal, a reliable retreat from the chaos of modern life. That sense of permanence made the sudden appearance of the fissure all the more shocking. Grand Teton was not known for dramatic geological events, its power was subtle, its changes, slow. The crack shattered this identity, revealing the hidden forces always at work beneath the surface. Even in the most serene places, nature's power can erupt without warning. The Tetons remind us, stability is an illusion and the earth is always in motion. The fissure is a visceral reminder that change can come suddenly, even to the most peaceful landscapes. The fissure was discovered on a clear August morning by hikers near Mount Moran, who found their trail replaced by a gaping chasm. Park rangers, initially skeptical, soon confirmed the reports as more sightings poured in. A helicopter survey revealed a two-mile-long crack, up to 50 feet wide, plunging into darkness. The fissure cut through meadows, forests, and even severed a park road, its scale visible only from above. Its location, parallel to the Teton Fault, immediately alarmed geologists. Was this a sign of deep earth movement? The edges were jagged, unstable, with toppled trees and exposed roots. Scientists described an eerie silence at the chasm's edge, broken only by the sound of falling rocks. No major earthquake had been recorded. The ground simply split open, leaving everyone searching for answers. The event was sudden, dramatic, and without precedent in the park's recent history. The mystery deepened. What could have caused such a rupture in seemingly stable ground? As news spread, scientists mobilized, Geologists, seismologists, and hydrologists converged on the site. Their first priority, safety. Was the fissure still expanding? Could more land give way? GPS sensors and seismometers were deployed to monitor every tremor and shift. Drones and LIDAR mapped the fissure in detail, revealing its true scale and instability. The size of the crack suggested a powerful release of energy, yet no earthquake had preceded it. Theories emerged. Was the Teton Fault awakening? Or was this the result of saturated ground from heavy snowmelt and rain? The possibility of a major earthquake sent a chill through local communities. Others pointed to a combination of water, gravity, and unstable slopes as the culprit. Scientists pored over historical data searching for missed warning signs. The cause remained elusive, but the urgency was clear. Understanding this event was critical for public safety. The scientific community worked around the clock, racing to provide answers. The world waited, anxious for an explanation. When geological drama strikes Wyoming, attention often turns to Yellowstone and its famous supervolcano. Yellowstone's geology is loud, geysers, hot springs, and constant tremors. Grand Teton, by contrast, is shaped by the silent tension of the Teton Fault, not volcanic fire. The Teton Fault has built the mountains through slow, powerful uplift, punctuated by rare but massive earthquakes. The 2024 fissure highlighted this difference. Not magma, 
but tectonic stress and gravity at work. While Yellowstone's threat is explosive and global, the Tetons face the risk of a devastating regional earthquake. The fissure forced a new public conversation about the dangers lurking beneath these iconic peaks. Yellowstone and Grand Teton are geological opposites, one shaped by heat, the other by pressure. The crack proved that dramatic earth changes aren't confined to volcanoes. Fault lines can be just as powerful and just as frightening when they finally release their pent-up energy. The Teton's silent pressure became impossible to ignore. How does solid ground split open? The answer lies in powerful unseen forces. Tectonic plates are always moving, building stress until it's suddenly released, sometimes as earthquakes, sometimes as surface ruptures. Water plays a role too. Heavy rain or rapid snowmelt can saturate the ground, making slopes unstable and prone to collapse. Freeze-thaw cycles weaken rock over time, setting the stage for sudden failures. The legacy of ancient glaciers also matters. Steepened slopes and loose debris left behind are still adjusting to the loss of ice. In the Tetons, these forces combined tectonic stress, water, gravity, and glacial history. The fissure was likely the result of this complex interplay, a reminder that the ground beneath us is never truly at rest. Even the most solid landscapes are shaped by relentless, invisible change. The Tetons crack is a dramatic example of nature's ongoing work. The fissure's discovery triggered an immediate response. Public safety came first. Rangers closed trails, campgrounds, and a section of the scenic park road, setting up exclusion zones and turning away visitors. The park, usually open and free, became a place of boundaries and restrictions overnight. Tourists faced canceled plans and confusion, while crowds gathered at closure lines, hoping for a glimpse of the crack. Park staff managed onlookers and coordinated with scientists and emergency officials. An emergency operations center was activated with regular updates to the public. The message was clear. The area was unstable and safety was paramount. Park employees worked tirelessly, assessing damage, sweeping remote areas, and enforcing closures. The calm rhythm of park life was replaced by the chaos of disaster response. The nation watched as Grand Teton became a case study in crisis management. The event tested the park's emergency plans and its people like never before. The Fisher's impact went beyond geology. It disrupted the lives of wildlife and people alike. Migration routes for elk, pronghorn, and deer were severed, raising concerns for their survival. Bears and moose faced fractured home ranges, increasing stress and potential conflict. For the town of Jackson, the economic hit was immediate. Tourism plummeted as closures and uncertainty scared off visitors. Local businesses felt the strain, while the community braced for a tough season. Visitors caught in the park during the event experienced anxiety and awe, their vacations transformed by nature's raw power. The fissure forced a new respect for the risks of wild places. These are not theme parks, but dynamic, unpredictable environments. The crack was more than a line in the earth. It was a deep interruption in the web of life. Its full consequences for animals, people, and the ecosystem will take years to understand. The Tetons' balance was forever changed. In the aftermath, the focus shifted from crisis to vigilance. The network of sensors and instruments became permanent, creating a state-of-the-art monitoring system for the Teton Fault. Scientists now track every movement, building a vital database for future hazard assessment. The park became a living laboratory, its data helping communities worldwide prepare for similar risks. The fissure changed how we think about safety in wild places, prompting new education and awareness efforts. Rangers now teach visitors about the Teton Fault and the reality of geological hazards. The goal foster respect, not fear, and encourage preparedness. The story of the fissure is a reminder of nature's power and unpredictability. The ground beneath us is never as solid as we believe. Listening to the earth, its tremors and ruptures, may be our best hope for staying safe.